Hi everyone, um, this is a little video I want to make quickly so I can explain myself a little bit better when I say that um, African, let's be humble because history will teach us so much, okay? And when I talk about xenophobia and everything that we don't want, other people in our countries, okay? So it's not about me, it's just about something I want to share with you. You see here, war flights okay people are traveling i see here british airways scandinavian Air. i just want to show something that immigration is nothing new in the world in humankind i will say something like that because i don't speak english like you human has always migrated okay we, make, we migrate from a town to another one, from a province to another one, from a city to another one, from a country to another one. No matter what kind of means we use, we migrate. Why? Because the fact that we want the human is always looking for a better life. The human, human, man, M A N in capital letter, which include women and women, are men and women are always looking for a better future. It is very much normal in the normal human. Now, when we migrate like that, I am not a professor whatsoever. I am not a professional or an expert in this, but being a migrant like many of us. I observe a lot and I've seen that I'm no longer young, but I've learned a little bit, you know, in my years of life, I've seen so many things. That's why I never make fun of anything in my life, because you can never know what can happen in the future. When you are young, you never think about leaving your country for a better life somewhere else. So you have countries who have definitely... Uh, history of immigration, like for example, America, I think, where people have been like here, you see here, there is immigration is very much normal. People travel for what? People travel because they want to get a better life somewhere, because they have a job, because, 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 because also they also have running from political situation. So in the case of us African, like I say sometimes, we, it's important to be humble because in a continent where, where women rights is not respected and things can change anything, can switch and can shake any time. It's always good to be humble because you don't know. I never thought that I will meet people. Hmm. So when we, we think that, you know, I, I want us to think differently about immigration, seriously. Okay, the land, the earth, the land we have never created that, okay? And if you look in our own history, in the past, 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 you will see maybe that our great, 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 or our ancestor probably moved from somewhere to another world, to another place. So we, I don't think that we are always originally, originally, originally from somewhere. So it's maybe good to be humble on that because even in Africa, they are moving. There are people moving. We are moving, we are moving to a place to another one. We are moving, okay? Especially in immigration, in crisis, okay? Like uh, war, like uh, political violence. You know, we are moving. We are moving every time. So uh, the land, we don't possess, I mean, we possess the land in a way, but we don't create it. It's God who gave us the cap opportunity, I would say, to be there. And then the land become a country and so on and so on. We have a history. So, Having a way to view other people coming to your country, it depends on how you see it. Because we are all called to die and to leave this earth. Okay? So, it's good to understand that we have an amount of time on this earth, okay? And everyone deserves to see or to have a better opportunity. Okay, we are all going to die anyway. We are all going to die anyway. And um, 
you will see that some people, you will see that sometimes we might be born somewhere. Okay, it's like I also, like I say, you might be born somewhere. You might be born somewhere and you see that you have history of people who find their way or who find a better life somewhere else. Or you have people who feel like, okay, I was born here, but I don't think it's really my country. You can be born somewhere and you don't feel like it is your country. Yeah, it happened. Like you, like I say also, a lot of you do when I talk about uh, people who are born in family who don't feel like they belong to that family. They just feel like they're a stranger in a family. It happened. It will happen. Some people can find love in another place, in another family, in another country. They can find their, post, their wealth, their happiness, their success somewhere else. Um, I give an example. Let's see. Okay, Elon Musk. I don't know where he's originally from, but I think he's not American born. I, 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 I don't know if. Well, okay, yeah. Citizenship, South Africa and Canada, okay? But then I think he's American, yeah, United States in 2002. But Elon Musk is one of the men, one of the men billion, multi billionaire in the world. And I think he probably became rich. Um, in America. So I believe that he had, he found his happiness, his opportunity, his success in America. And actually, America is the land of many people who immigrate a lot. So I think it, it, they probably understand immigration more than, than people like me. So I don't know why is this, we Africans are so tight to the way, and then it shows how, no, we have to elevate the way we think. No, elevate, let's elevate our our mindset. This, this is serious. Um, that's why I don't say I have a problem with being black at all. No, I'm proud to be black, but do, there is a saying, it say, goes in French, it say, qui aime bien, chaque bien. It's like the one who loves also, the one who knows how to correct, how to punish. I don't know how to say that, how to correct, how to change, you know. Um, um, we need to elevate. Immigration is not something bad. Why? You have to see an example like in America. Why? Because they understood that every immigrant is a potential person who can bring more to the country. They understood it, even in Europe. I gave you an example. I talk about Ceci Kienge, who is from Congo DRC, and who became a member of the European Union, and who is a minister in Italy. She's African from Congo DRC. Because they understood that immigration is a... Don't, in immigration, you have people coming with talent, with with many things coming from the outside that can make your country to enrich, to, I don't know how to say it, to bring something more. I understand that people want um, good immigration, quality of immigration, but you cannot always know who is the person who enters your country. You don't know. Okay? And I understand that it's a Difficult situation, maybe some people, but you cannot put everybody in the same box, accusing them of this and this and this. And we know that, you know, it, it just doesn't make any sense. We have to elevate the way we see that situation of immigration in our countries in Africa. It's about time that our African president review how they give citizenship to people from African to Africans. You saw and many African criticized like, oh yeah, during the Ukraine crisis in Europe, they were welcoming Ukrainian when we have many African who came illegally and tried to be there. No, no, no. Yeah, they are white. They are white, why? Because they understood Ukrainian, they are, they are, they are brothers and sisters. They are from the same continent. Uh huh. It makes sense. They will privilege their own people first. Okay? If we African, if you start working in your country, you have the right to move from where you are. And other African countries should be opening doors to us, to the other Africans. Yes, that's how you enrich your culture. That's how you change, you make the country and the 
economic better because you bring something else on the table and we want and it's important to have quality of immigration okay so there is nothing wrong to have people immigrant we should we should, we should, we should review the way we see okay citizenship in our countries in africa if you are really africans like we say then why are we making it difficult to other africans and allowing uh, 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 other people, the colonizer or the European, better than us. It doesn't make any sense, okay? So when I say African, let's learn from history. Um, we never forget history. It's very important because there is something about it that when we forget, sometimes history can repeat itself in a different way, but probably even coming back in a, you know, in a way that ooh, it's gonna be there. <laughs> But don't forget history because, you know, history taught us that when countries seem to be very at peace and think like you are prospering and everything, something changed, okay? You have many countries in Africa who entered the world they didn't know. But, I mean, there was probably some signs, like people say, little signs. I was not really much of signs. But it's like... <laughs> It's not, you cannot predict it like that, okay? When countries you have, uh, like, you don't know, okay? And what I want to say is, another thing that you are above another country, like, I gave you an example of my country and the neighbor country and everything that happened later on. But what I say is, you can never predict, you can never know the future. You know, you have countries that were great empire before, okay? They can, they became, in everywhere in the world, you have the Persian Empire, I think Persian Empire, I don't know. You had uh, Egypt, Egyptian Empire, you had Roman Empire, and all this great civilization, Byzantine, Byzantine, I don't have to say that in English. You know, all the great civilization like that, suddenly disappear because history is a cycle history is a cycle it's never that it's going to be there like this forever okay but then also you will see that history has not always been uh, haven't, haven't been written hasn't been written completely in full I, I mean it's like there are things that has not really reported really in the history of the world anyway. So in Africa, like I said, you don't know what is tomorrow. You don't know what is tomorrow. You have countries when people will tell you, I saw countries like Zimbabwe, the Rhodesia before. It's a huge difference between Rhodesia and the country I saw later on picture. I don't say that, I don't know which is better, but when I saw Rhodesia before I saw the picture, I was like, whoa. It is something else. It was, and it's common in Africa. There are many countries when they were somehow in the old days, they were better than now for some of them. And you have countries where they enter in war and then are better today. Okay, you, a simple example, you have Rwanda who went to, who had a, the massacre. Okay, and <laughs> And you see one that today is a place that, where everybody wants to go for tourism. Just example like that. So I can never make fun of people who are jumping in the sea because I remember there was a time in the 90s, I think early 90s, there were young people in West Africa who were jumping on plane, commercial plane. And some of them were on the wheels of the plane because they were so desperate to go to Europe. It's politics. That's why I say I have no problem with white people countries when it comes to culture. I like the culture, I like the American culture, I like, I don't understand the American culture yet, so yeah, I'm not gonna say anything like that, but I like the people. I like, like uh, I say, the French culture is a beautiful culture. French culture is a beautiful culture. But the problem I have is the politics of these countries to Africa, okay? That's where I have the problem. And 
history have always told us that do not always feel content because things can happen, things can change. Okay, you can have a coup in a country like a putsch. You can have um, a military putsch. Sorry, you can have uh, a uprising. You can have. You never know. So that's why I say history always teach us to be humble. Thank you.